This is a Sir Calco video that I was working on from October to November of 2016 that I never finished, which was going to be over weird Sonic ROM hacks and van games. I actually finished all the drawings for the video back in the day, but I just didn't get around to coloring all of them. So all the drawings that you'll see in this scrapped video, they are the original drawings that I would have used in the video if it was released back in 2016, uh, just without color in most cases. Uh, the script is also the original script I wrote back in 2016, although the voiceover isn't. I don't remember recording the script in 2016, and if I did at some point, I deleted it once I decided that the video was scrapped. So the voiceover you'll be hearing is a voiceover from present day me, trying to replicate what the voiceover would have sounded like. You know, that Sir Hulko charm, haha. This video also has segments where I'd be showing actual gameplay of games. Uh, those were also recorded recently instead of in 2016, for reasons I'll explain later. However, some of the games are no longer easily accessible, so some of them won't have footage. Uh, when that happens, I'll address it with a note on the screen, and I'll draw like a little mock-up of what it would have looked like. Uh, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and play the scrapped video, and then afterwards I'll go in more detail about the production process and why I ended up scrapping it. Chili dogs, am I right? Man, I've been playing too many official games lately. I should try playing some fan games. I changed my mind. So I've been browsing the internet a lot, and I've noticed... There are a lot of fan games out there. After seeing a couple, I had an idea. Hey, I could make a series just about fan games. And so this series was born. I decided I would start out with Sonic since I already knew some Sonic fan games. So let's get started. Hey yo, people! My name is Sir Kalko, and today I'm going to be looking at Sonic ROM hacks and fan games. Hopefully, we'll survive. Now, for the most part in this series, I'll be talking about some good and weird games, with the games getting weirder as they go on. But I started this video when it was only going to be weird games. So yeah, let's get ready for some weirdness. First up is something simple, Sonic Pac-Man. This game is overall pretty basic. Like Pac-Man, you guide Sonic through the maze and help him... Eat the dots? But he's in ball form, so how does he eat... How does that work? Because science! Next is a game called Sonic Weird World. That's not a very good sign. In all honesty though, this is just a regular Sonic game where you go fast and platform. One problem though, this game has completely unreasonable jumps. Look, this isn't even fair at all. What is this, Kaizo Sonic? Oh no, I shouldn't have mentioned that. No, Kaizo Mario, no! All right, let's, uh, what? Hey, that's not fair. How is that even possible? Uh. Another thing, there are cages spread throughout the levels and inside them is... Mario! Hey Mario, good to see ya. Just one question, what are you even doing here? Also, what on earth is that sound he makes when you save him? Mario, 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 right here! Next up, we have our first pure ROM hack of Sonic the Hedgehog 1. It looks like Pikachu wants a bite of platforming action, as he and his Pokemon friends are taking over the Sonic universe. I mean seriously, Nintendo is giving everything platformers but Pokemon. Even Chibi Robo got a platformer, and I bet more than half of you don't know what that is. But unlike some games in this video, this game is well done and enjoyable. And the enemies are so clever! The crab meats are now Krabbies, the lizards are now Kelsions, and the buzz bombers are Beedrills. And Motobugs... aren't replaced? Oh sure, we can't think of one to replace Motobugs, so we'll just leave them in. No biggie. It's not like there's a Pokemon like it. Heck, they even reskinned Dr. Robotnik to look like Team Rocket. Now that is dedication. How did Pikachu get so fast though? Did Ash tell him to use Quick Attack one too many times? Right. Quick Attack! Next is another ROM hack of Sonic 1 titled Sonic Omachow Edition. Now, I haven't played a whole lot of Sonic games due to how legendarily bad some of them can be. But judging by the internet, Omachow was universally hated for pointing out obvious things. 
So I wonder. Ah, uh, I should have known. Yes, in Sonic Amachao Edition, Amachao points out literally every single thing you do. However, there's a catch that makes things much worse. Okay, let's start over. Great. Oh, come on. Wait, wait, what? Huh? Omachao doesn't just start with one. For each additional thing you do, Omachao will chime an additional chime at a higher pitch. And yes, it gets very annoying. Oh, so that's why people hate Omachao. Now, annoying as it is, this game is actually pretty fun. It's a challenge to try to do as little notable things as possible. Unfortunately, the punishment for doing something can be pretty harsh. The next game is a 100% built-from-scratch fan game that a lot of you have probably heard of. Sanic Ball. Now, if you're watching this, you're probably aware of the infamous meme called Sanic. Gotta go fast! But this game... Why does it even exist? In this game, you play as balls with the faces of Sanic characters, like Sanic, Knuckles, and... Big the Cat! Once you've chosen your character, you get to... Race? This is a racing game? For whatever reason, Sanic Ball is a racing game where you have to race seven other opponents. And like Sanic, you go very fast. Okay, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I must be doing good. I'm going over 100 fast per hour. Okay, this is stupid. How is this game even approved by Apple? At least Nintendo isn't stupid. They haven't approved dumb games like Apple has. Oh, wait. I like how Vector is an actual crocodile. Am I the only one who enjoyed that? Croco Speed! Returning back to ROM hacks, next is a hack of Sonic the Hedgehog 2 titled Sonic 2 XL. At first it seems like a regular Sonic 2, but then you'll realize... Hey, uh, Sonic? You've gained a little bit of weight, buddy. Sonic 2 XL is the same as Sonic 2, except the rings are replaced by onion rings. When Sonic collects one, he gets a little fatter, making it harder to run and jump. If Sonic gets too many, he'll be too fat to move and then dies. Like Sonic Amachao Edition, this small addition to the game actually makes the game more fun, trying to beat the level as well as avoiding rings. You've got to avoid ring boxes at all costs though, those things are now death traps. Whoa! After all those weird games, we're finally at the last game. Now, most of the games on this were already shown by YouTubers like Connor the Waffle, Ant Dude, and Space Hamster. All great channels, by the way. I'll link their Sonic videos in the description. But I found one game that I've never seen shown before. And it's easily the strangest game on this list. It's... Funny Dentist. Don't let the name fool you. There's nothing funny about this game. Alright, let's click the game and... ah, Kill it! Kill it with fire! So yeah, Funny Dentist is basically a dentist game with the Sonic characters. But oh my goodness, this is the scariest character I've ever seen in a video game. Well, besides the obvious ones. This is definitely a game for younger kids, as it's a dentist game. But if you were 8 and you saw this, would you honestly play it? I can't even bring myself to play this. This game is too scary. And that sums up the games. But Conco, what about all those other fan games out there? What about Sonic and Mario World? What about Yeth? What about Sonic the Game? Yes, I'm very much aware of all those games. However, I wanted to cover those in a separate video. But for right now, I just want to take a break. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go play some official Sonic games. Without us? You know how much I like punching things. I think I'd rather play Funny Dentist. Hey yo, people! Thank you for watching the video. This would be the part where I do uh, the outro stuff. I don't have a specific script written out, but here's all the things I have listed in parentheses. 
Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Uh, be sure to check out my Super Mario Maker and my Super Smash Bros. for 3DS reviews. Uh, if you want to check out the games that were in this video, click the link in the descriptions to see those. Uh, I don't know what this Sanic plus F FD means. I guess that's App Store links to Sanic and Funny Dentist. Uh, I don't know why I would have put those in the description. All right, that's it for now. Peace out. This is the part where I would put bloopers, but um, I, there's not really a point. But I guess this would have been uh, another video with bloopers. Uh -huh. I initially began working on this video around late September 2016. Around this time, I had updated the channel banner because I wanted to introduce two new types of videos to the channel. Calco Reviews and Weird Hacks and Fan Games. The idea for videos on ROM hacks and fan games is inspired well, let's be real, stolen, from a YouTuber named Ant Dude, as he was one of the first channels I started to watch regularly and was a major inspiration for my Sir Calco videos. Ant Dude's videos on ROM hacks and fan games were some of his most popular videos, and they were my personal favorite videos to watch from him. It's a really fun style of video to watch since it's just a bunch of bite-sized segments covering a variety of fan games and hacks, ranging from actually cool, high-quality stuff to yeth. This sounded like a fun type of video for me to make, so I started planning a video on ROM hacks and fan games. And yeah, that makes my inspiration from Ant Dude incredibly obvious. I didn't even fully understand what a ROM hack was at the time. I only put that in the title because that's what Ant Dude did. Although stuff like the Speedy Gonzales hack doesn't really count as a fan game since it was a bootleg, so I just guess that ROM hacks covered games like that. Planning for ROM hack and fan game videos started pretty early in the channel's life. In fact, I mentioned working on one as early as the outro for the Top 10 Wii Games video. And along with that, I'm going to have a video about hacks and fan games on a certain series, though it's probably not going to be the one you think. You might be thinking this is referring to the Sonic video, but you'd be wrong! The video I mentioned here was intended to be about Sesame Street fan games. Hence why I said it wouldn't be a series you'd expect, because... I mean, yeah. That video never happened because I could only find two games that were interesting enough to talk about for it. And even then, one of those was an official Pac-Man parody that could be found on the Sesame Street website, so that technically doesn't even count as a fan game or a hack. Honestly, the whole video was just one big excuse for me to talk about Sesame Street Fighter. I mean, just look at it. It's a game where the Sesame Street characters are designed to look like the Street Fighter cast, and you have to type words to attack. I shouldn't even have to explain myself here. That's all I was able to find that was interesting, though, so I decided to switch gears to a series that would be much easier to find games for. Sonic the Hedgehog. I mean, hey, that was a subject for several of Ant Dude's fan game videos, so I already knew there was a ton to pick from. Most of the updates for this video come from posts about my planned upload schedule on the Sir Calco Patreon page. Yes, I started a Patreon page. Yes, I know how dumb it is in retrospect. And no, thank god nobody actually subscribed to it. In the October 2nd upload schedule plan, I revealed the Sonic Fan Games video for the first time, and said it would be released around October 15th, 2016. Despite the fact that the release date was only two weeks away, though, all I had done was find three games to use for the video, which I presume were Sonic XL, Sonic Amachow Edition, and Funny Dentist. I hadn't even started on the script, apparently, or the drawings, or anything substantial, really. Now, two weeks wasn't exactly a rushed production time, because that was normally how long it took me to make an average Sir Calco video. However, this video was clearly a lot different, so it's no surprise that it didn't meet the deadline. Not even three hours after posting that upload schedule, I published a standalone post stating that I was going to swap the fan games video and my Calco review of New Super Mario Bros. The reasoning was, like I mentioned before, I only had three games to use in that video, so I wasn't even at the point where I could write a script yet. Since I had already completed New Super Mario Bros. a few days prior, I figured I might as well just make that video first to give myself more time to find more dumb games. It's a little weird that they swapped places though, considering in the Top 10 Wii Games video, I specifically said that the review would be the next video. So I don't know why specifically I changed my mind. Interestingly enough, the Weird Sonic video went radio silent and didn't show up again in the next two upload schedules. It wouldn't be mentioned again until the November 6 upload schedule, over a month after I last mentioned it. In that post, I specifically addressed the fact that the video had suffered multiple delays, but that I wanted to get it out before 2016, especially since Hacks and Fan Games was in my channel banner. The reason for that particular time slot was due to the end-of-the-year video extravaganza I was working on, 
in which I would release three videos once per week at the end of December. Basically, I wanted to get the Sonic video finally finished up before I had to spend all my time working on those three videos. But of course, having to finish three entire other videos in the span of a month put me under huge time constraints, and due to difficulties I had working on the video, I decided to put the Sonic fan games video on an indefinite hiatus. Despite all of my effort, the video ended up being scrapped, and that was mostly due to the process of recording the games I was showing. My method for recording the footage would be the same process as what I did for my gaming channel, Calco Gaming. I would set up my iPad to be pointing at the screen, and then just record it that way. Obviously that looks awful, but it worked for me at the time, and theoretically it should have still worked for this video. What I quickly learned while trying to record for this video, however, is that recording gameplay for a scripted Sir Calco video is way more difficult than just filming an unscripted Let's Play. The Calco gaming videos were always a minimum of 20 minutes long, and were always recorded in real time. Because of that, I didn't care too much about background noise or problems with my camera, because if I was constantly worrying about that, I would never be able to get any recording done. The gameplay clips for the Sir Calco video were only going to be a couple seconds at a time. Because of that, I wanted to make sure those clips were as good as possible. And that perfectionism led to some problems. I specifically remember that I only attempted to record that one ROM hack that replaced Speedy Gonzales with Sonic, and also had Mario in cages. I had found the ROM on a random site through Google search, so it was already off to a bad start because the game was just in a small window near the inside of the screen with ads and text around it. I already had trouble just getting regular PC game footage to look good. I would have to place a stack of books behind my iPad so that it could be propped up just enough to get the computer screen. But it was a flimsy setup as there were numerous times when my iPad would fall over during recording. So take the fact that I had to use a setup like that on a game that was even harder to record properly and combine that with my perfectionism of making it better than usual and it was already off to a bad start. And that's just the setup. Actually recording the clips I wanted was annoying because not only did I have to get the proper gameplay I wanted, but I also had to say my scripted lines at just the right moment while recording. For example, for the part that shows Mario in a cage, I'd have to move Sonic across the screen and then stop him right when I see Mario. And then as this happened, I would have to say, oh, hey Mario, just a question, what are you doing here? And then, even if I got the clips done perfectly, there was also the problem of background noise. This could be anything from my dad being on a work call, my mom being on the phone or calling for my siblings, my sister watching TV in the living room, or my dog Sam barking. This meant that I would just have to sit around and wait for a time when things were quiet in the house before recording, and even if that worked out, there were times I'd be interrupted halfway through. These interruptions happened a lot when recording Calco gaming videos, but again, that was a case where they were 20 minutes long, so that kind of thing was bound to happen. There wasn't really an excuse for it in 5 second clips. Or at least that's what I thought at the time. I never announced the cancellation of this video on YouTube or Patreon, which is especially weird considering it was only ever mentioned in detail on Patreon. With that said, I believe I stopped using Patreon before this video was cancelled, so that's most likely why. I do believe that I talked about it on my Google Plus though, because by this point in time I had started posting regular video updates there. Unfortunately I didn't get around to archiving the page before Google Plus shut down in early 2019, so I don't have a way to find out for sure. This didn't mean I was scrapping ROM hack and fan game videos for good, though. On this planned upload schedule that I wrote in December 2016, I listed a Mario hacks and fan games video, slated for an April 2017 release. I really wanted to make these videos despite all the obstacles the production faced. In fact, I still planned on making a Sonic hacks and fan games video, at some point in the future at least, but I was going to start from scratch because I felt like I could improve on the old script and drawings by that point. I wanted to do a Mario video first anyways because it would be a much more fresh experience to make. And while I was starting the Sonic video from scratch, it still would have used a lot of the same games and a lot of similar jokes. This whole planned upload schedule was ultimately upended when I took a two month hiatus from YouTube in January 2017. When I returned to YouTube in March, I still plan on getting to the Mario fan games video, but my priorities for videos had shifted due to my collab plans with IC22487 Gaming and wanting to avoid burnout. And then I gave myself a tight deadline for an April Fool's video and burnt out again, so I guess I didn't follow that rule. And that's the story behind this video. It was a fun idea that I loved writing and drawing for, but all of the technical problems were way too irritating to deal with. Public awareness for Sonic Funny Dentist is alarmingly low. Think about what could have been.